Hello. Um, if I can launch a projectile at a speed u, at what angle should I launch it if I want it to land furthest away? So in my previous video, I've already explained uh, how to calculate uh, the horizontal range. Yeah? So um, the first step is to resolve the initial velocity into its horizontal and vertical components. And then by considering the vertical motion, we can calculate the time of flight, meaning how long the projectile stays in the air before it lands. And then by considering the horizontal motion, we can obtain the horizontal range. So this is the starting point for this video. First, I want you to notice that the horizontal range is decided by both the initial horizontal and the initial vertical velocity. Because the initial vertical velocity determines how long you stay in the air. Whereas the initial horizontal velocity uh, determines how fast you move forward uh, as you travel through the air. Okay, now let me show you two projectiles launched at the same speed. Yeah, launched at the same speed, but one is launched at uh, 15 degrees above the horizontal, the other one is launched at 75 degrees. So let's look at the two projectiles. Whoop! They land at the exact same point. Yeah, so they have the same exact horizontal range. How is that possible? Um, so they are launched at the same speed u. The one that's launched at the lower angle would have a higher horizontal velocity. That means this projectile uh, moves forward at higher speed than this projectile. So you can take a look at uh, again. Yeah? See, the red one travels uh, rightward much faster than the magenta one because it has a, a higher horizontal velocity. So why does it land at the same point then? Well, the magenta one, even though it has a lower horizontal velocity, it has a higher initial vertical velocity which means it gets to stay in the air for a longer time. So you take a look at, at it again. Yeah? So it's moving more slowly, but it gets to stay in the air for longer. In the end, it ends up these two uh, land at the same point. So if you want to land furthest away, um, you must have a just nice uh, horizontal velocity, not too fast, not too slow, and a just nice vertical velocity, not too fast, not too slow, if you want to land furthest away. So guess what the angle is? 45 degrees? Yeah? Yeah, you're actually right, huh? 45 degrees is the angle that gives the maximum range. But all these are gut feel, yeah? So uh, can we show it mathematically? Yes, of course we can. So coming back to that uh, formula we had just now, the horizontal range depends on both the horizontal uh, velocity and the initial vertical velocity. So instead of ux and ui, let's write them as u cosine theta and u sine theta. And then we can combine the two u together, so I get two u, uh, so I get u squared. But we can also combine two sine theta cosine theta as sine two theta. Yeah. So now we got a formula for the horizontal range to be u squared sine two theta uh, over g. So look at this uh, formula here. U square is uh, fixed because we are thinking of projectiles at different angles but at the same speed u, right? So U square is fixed, so is G. So R varies with theta according to the sine 2 theta function. Let's uh, plot it out as a graph. So this is what the graph will look like. So my graph here ends at 90 degrees uh, but actually it's a sine 2 theta graph. Here. The complete sine graph will end at 180 degrees. Yeah. 180 degrees because it's 2 sine theta. So from this uh, graph, isn't it obvious now that uh, the maximum range uh, is achieved when the launch angle is 45 degrees? Yeah, Because when theta is 45 degrees, sine 2 theta, which is sine 90 degrees, is 1. Because sine 2 theta can only vary between uh, negative 1 and 1, right? So the maximum value of sine 2 theta is 1. So when theta is 45 degrees, we get the maximum range which is uh, just u square divided by g. Now notice also the sine 2 theta uh, is symmetrical about 45 degrees. So that will predict for us uh, that if you launch something at 10 degrees and if you launch it at 80 degrees, you get the same range. They'll land at the same spot. So similarly, 20 degrees and like 70 degrees will land at the same point. 40 degrees and 50 degrees will also land at the same spot. So we have shown mathematically what we suspected earlier, yeah? So the maximum range is uh, obtained at a launch angle of 45 degrees. And 
projectiles that are launched at complementary angles like 15 and 75, they will land at the same spot. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!